I never spoke as a child and dance ballet was the first thing that I felt really powerful. kind of have to just dive into every day like this is the last time I'm going to do this I think that's how you become the best that's how you become your best self and um, you know I don't step onto the stage thinking uh, I might fall tonight it's like I'm gonna go for it and if I fall how am I gonna recover kind of the approach that you have to have especially when you're at this level um, that you can't think about um, you know what if what if what this if? yeah goes wrong just keep striving took my first class in socks and shorts and a t-shirt. But I, I didn't want to know um, how badly I was injured and so I pushed through for as long as I could. I just kind of went into it like head first and um, worked so incredibly hard. that I literally just take everything one step at a time. Like, even when I'm on the stage, why am I fighting so hard? I might not ever be able to jump again. Why am I doing this? And I just love what I do. And I think as dancers, we're constantly striving for perfection. And that's never going to happen. So it's just going to keep us going and going. Seeing me on the stage, how, it, how it's affected them, that's what kept me going on those days when I couldn't physically walk, when um, I had doubts and thought, like, why am I fighting so hard? I might not ever be able to jump again. Why am I doing this? And it was those little brown girls. It was those girls in the audience that were there the night of Firebird that made me feel that I was going to do it no matter what physical obstacles I felt I was going to find a way around it because what was possible for me to create could change the future for so many young dancers and it just makes you superhuman when you feel that. It felt like this amazing support and energy from, you know, right. all of these people that were there to support me and that were watching me because I was creating a path for them.